herzlich willkommen. A very warm welcome to Oxpoon, the technical magazine with Wolfgang Ludolf. Well, I wanted to start with a very sparkling beginning to our new episode Oxpoon. But as you can see, it has all got a little wet. That is not so bad, but it is all about why it has got wet. What is the reason why does the fluid I want to drink come out of the top? That is popularly known as there is carbonic acid in it. That is really wrong. CO2, carbon dioxide, is the proper term. But the popularity says it. I have to make it a little drier here. And it is simply stayed so. Why do we put carbon dioxide into it? Because the tingle on our tongue and throat is very nice for us. This carbon dioxide is a natural product. We have it in the air everywhere. It evolves by many processes. Maturation process, carbon dioxide is used in many areas of our lives. When you buy fruit or meat, they have sometimes a protective gas atmosphere around them. That is mostly carbon dioxide, so to say CO2. That is the proper way to say it. We have learned that now, and not just that, up to a maximum of 80%, or you can get other effects. But also in a technique we have this. We have also lots of water, what we drink. There's carbon dioxide in it already. But when we have hard things like this, it is additionally added. And you do that naturally in large firms or large factories, and CO2 is not harmless. In, in those amounts which we have in packing or in protective gases or what we have in the atmosphere, it is totally harmless. But CO2 is a gas, and a gas what for us is an invisible and tasteless and odorless. That means we cannot recognize it. And that makes it dangerous, because it is heavy as air, sinks to the bottom, and makes a sea. And you know as well as when you jump into a swimming bath and dive down and breathe, you drown. The same happens with CO2. When a room has filled with CO2, represses the air from beneath in your breath, breathing, but not air. And you'll become no oxygen and die. There's also the other situations that the concentration yeah, in many production buildings where you work with it by damages that increases this increasing that happens for the workers unrecognizable and can end in death. And it is very important that there are laws for that in such dangerous areas these gases are monitored not only CO2, but also other gases. And I would like to show you what possibilities we have in the many factories where CO2 is worked with to monitor constantly, either stationary or on man, or on a woman, if the concentration possibly is in an area where health hazard is there for the single person. And I'd like to show you that now. That was the self-test from the WMM50, a CO2 worn and measuring device for the stationary usage. It consists of two four parts. From one here, that's what the sensor unit looks like. I have to, when I want to use it, take the cover off here from the sensor in. And down here I have a sort of holder where I can put it into so I don't lose it, and straight away I have a CO2 value shown. And that is really all. Much more you do not have to do. Naturally you can set different limits and different alarm value sets. All that is very important, because I have different areas where I have different values in large halls, and such there can a limit be there which is not a such problem. 
as in a small room. And here, apart from this station, is an external device. It is operated with a delivered extension and mounted anywhere outside of the room, which is to be monitored, so that you can safely approach and then you can read what the CO2 value in the monitored room is. And I can naturally operate it from here as well. I have here the possibility to call up many menus. I can also set which alarm level important is and if by an alarm something should be triggered or not. I can naturally also, when an alarm is recognized, steer a fan attached to here, which is also available. This is a potential free attachment, that means that I can attach a fan to 220 volt and this used as a switch. It would be then switched on and as soon as the values are under the values to be turned off again. So a device which can be used permanently, which has the separation of the monitored room and a room where you can control the monitoring and set everything where it is not dangerous when you are working in a firm with such gases, what are invisible and which you cannot smell. It is important and from the law required that such monitoring systems are installed. This WMM50 from PCS is such a device. Everything is delivered with it, the holder for the wall and so forth. We don't really have to talk about that. Even the extension, the coupling, so that you can put further away. It is hung between here, the cable comes then between it. And the coupling is also there for it. So a complete set to work carefree and for the safety of the workers. The gas man. Formerly he came to read the counter. Nowadays we have the gas man who protects me personally. When I'm working in firms, when it has a loading station with a mains adapter, the built-in lithium battery can be charged for many hours of usage. Because it can be delivered with different sensors, it has different usage hours. But anyway, I can with this device. First turn it on. Now it starts its self-test. It also has lighted diodes which warn and blink and has in the display the indication of the battery loading stage. Now it has to bring itself into the operational readiness. That takes a few moments. You can see the bars at the bottom which are getting smaller. In the computer it says the progress bars. Here the prospect bar goes backwards. I will show you though in the meantime at the back here this alligator clamp. With this you can hang it onto your belt or clothing, very stable. Or you come with this ring, honey, onto or something, over something. It is anyway a personal device. Now it is ready and shows me the concentration in the breathing air. So that are 0.12 volume percent. And this signal means that the device is ready to use and active and is okay. So we have here in the studio a light high concentration, but far, far away from any dangerous area. It works actively and that it goes higher is because I sort of talk to the device and breathe out. And the cells themselves produce CO2, too, not only from people, but animals or plants. And watch now when I blow on it. It becomes the full portion of my breathed out air. And there the step is too much, it was set at 0.5% volume and it alarms me unmistakably and through the blinking 
even if I am deaf or in a firm where I have to wear headsets and cannot hear it, my colleague can see it and warn me. For the case I don't want to hear. So you can see an indispensable device for all areas where with gases is worked with, as I said, it can be delivered with different sensors. And for the security, my personal security at my working place. A gas man device which can be used in different areas. I have one here in front of me. That is the T4. That's what it looks like. It is a pretty large device. We have here the possibility to look at these four sensors. They are in use, it's naturally not open, they are covered, and you can attach a gas feed tube. And I will push it onto here so. And the tube is put onto here, and I can use a hand pump or the like from somewhere the gas feed into it, which I want to monitor. I can display these things simultaneously when I take it out of the loading station. There's a lithium battery in it and holds in usage for around 18 hours. So first I become the self-test. All the lighting diodes and alarms are shown. And then I become the menus. And when I wait now, we are nearly there. When it has gone through all its display, what it does at the start, it is very important that this device checks itself that it really makes an alarm when the alarm is needed. Then I have to press on here. Here you can see I can lay on different users for shift usage. When, for example, someone works in a sewage works, and then shift system, that the next user has his own profile. So now it has set itself to null. After every turn on, now that it is finished, it shows me the measured values. And when I press here again, we become this light. It can, as I said, different gases simultaneously monitor. It is a personal device, a one-man device. I can also game with such an alligator clamp attached somewhere to my clothes. Or hang it, hang it on with a belt and then carry it around on my body. A personal companion to protect me and my life. And possibly technical devices which are in such an atmosphere fear being used. An absolute multitask gas man device I have here on my desk. It stands in its loading station and is loading and the built-in batteries last around 18 hours. When I want to use the device, I take the first out of the loading station. Now I can show you it. Four sensors, which you can see, can measure up to five gases has a connection for a built-in pump. And even though the device is handy, the pump is integrated. It is automatically recognized as soon as the pump adapter is connected. The pump is then turned on. I will turn the device on. It has a one-button operation. I have to push the button longer. For all these devices to turn on and off, you have to push the button longer. And that's the alarm. You can hear there, and naturally it takes a little time until it has its sensors ready to use. It tests them and sets them always to null, so that it shows the proper values. We see here the system is tested. Now it takes another moment, and any time it is then ready to use. 
So now it says the air is clean. So now you can get the girls in. <laughs> no, I mean really the air, the purity and the purity values of the air. Now it is into its operational mode. So the display is turned off. And we can see we have 12 volume percent of CO2, 20.9% oxygen. That is what we see at the moment. Now I do my breath test. And now we are in the set alarm area. And it alarms very strongly and it's very loud so that you can hear it in loud environments. I have to turn the sound off but the optical alarm stays as long as the values are not down to the safe values. So now that is the case and it shows normal on. This device is pretty large but is a multifunction gas test device. Also this I can hang around my neck or with the alligator clamp attach it to my belt or clothing. It saves naturally the data which has been measured and also from the turning off. It is a very professional device everywhere where you are daily in contact with gases and what is important that these gases are monitored so that nothing happens. As you can see the operating display is also there. It shows then that it is operational and it also has lighting diodes here at the front which tells me that the device itself also is okay or if it has to be maintained or if it is not to be used. A safe device which monitors itself and gives the security which we need in today's profession. Again, four devices which I have presented to you up here next to each other. That is the WMM50 from PCE, a stationary device which is built into the room to be monitored. Over the delivered extension, I have here the operating unit outside in a different room where no gases are and I can monitor what inside is measured and can also operate it from there. Then we come to the personal devices which you carry with you. The first device is very small flexible device, the gas man. It peeps all the time and says I am still here. A device which is thought of for the protection of the person. The next one we have here is the T4. The T4 has four sensors built in for different gases. It is a large device and saves naturally its data, which you can later call up. And I have the possibility to do long-term monitoring. Within the built-in batteries, it runs independently from the mains. The loading station which it stands, I can load it back up in about five hours. Overnight, is that enough? The last device we have here, that is the Gas Pro, the Gas Pro 3. In this case, that is a top device which can up to five gases recognize and simultaneously record and it monitors itself and monitors its electronics and always shows through the green diode at the front that it is fully usable tells also when it needs a maintenance or has to be repaired all four devices are indispensable when working in areas where gases are here it's all about CO2, but the most devices can be fitted with other sensors or from the start recognize different gases. So, I wish that you, the devices do not need apart from in your profession and that you have an employer who puts them to your disposal. <laughs>